by which a body changes from a liquid to a gel, forming a clot. It potentially results in hemostasis. The cessation of blood loss from a damaged vessels, followed by repair. The mechanism of coagulation involves activation, adhesion, and aggregation of platelets along with deposition and maturation of fibrin. Disorders of coagulation can result in bleeding, such as hemorrhage or bruising, or obstructive clotting, as a thrombosis. The coagulation cascade of secondary hemostasis has two initial pathways, which lead to fibrin formation. They are intrinsic and extrinsic pathways. Extrinsic activated by binding with the tissue factors, which form a complex with factor 7, finally leading to activation of factor 10. This factor 10A is the point of which the extrinsic and the intrinsic pathways of the coagulation cascade meet. The intrinsic pathway consists of various coagulation factors activating each other in a chain reaction at its a complex with an additional cofactor is formed this complex now activates factor 10 since the two pathways merge at the level of factor 10a this factor has a pivotal role in the coagulation cascade further down the cascade factor 10a in combination with factor 5a activated thrombin one molecule of factor 10a can catalyze the formation of a thousand molecules of the thrombin. These large amounts of thrombin cause the further activation of platelets and the enhanced formation of fibrin. Fibrin then forms strands, making up the mesh that stabilizes the platelet plug in arterial clot and holds together the RBCs in a venous clot.